Hey, Plant Prodigy here. I'm I'm gonna update you on my plans for March of 2020. Sorry if my room's a little messy. So, this is gonna be a really awkward tour, so let's begin. First here we have, we have a, a Ficus Lyrata. Or a fiddly fig, pretty common, so I don't think there's an introduction it needed. This plant right here, the Brugmansia, really toxic, so I would keep it away from young children in Avaria because it contains several toxic alkaloids, including scopolamine. So, but on the other hand, this plant reduces its Brugmansia pink perfume and will produce beautiful trumpet shaped flowers that, sm that smell really good from what I've heard. Next, we have my Oxalis, my Oxalis Triangularis. I got this plant like a month, like a month ago, and it, it was in a much better condition. It's in a not in a good condition now because of because like about a few weeks ago, the ceiling tile fell above my plants, and and some of my plants were damaged, but it appears to be recovering pretty well. So I. I'm keeping it, so if your plant appears damaged, damaged, it's probably because of that. Here's another plant I have. This is a plant that really has sparked my interest in carnivorous plants. This plant is called the Nepenthes ventricosa, native to the Philippines. And I got this one at Lowe's a few years ago, and it's doing much bigger than it was, and now it's doing good. This plant I got at Costco a few weeks ago is called Hawar- it's called, This plant I got at Costco a few weeks ago is called Hawarfia Cooperi. Or Cooper's Hawarfia. It, it's best known for its clearly succulent leaves. Which is my favorite part of the plant. Eventually I'm hoping- I just had a lot of babies attached to it, but I'm propagating those babies so I can make succulent planters in the future and possibly sell them. Just to heads up, some of these plants aren't so good because it's winter and it's kind of hard to take care of them all at once because there's so many. I have, I think, almost 50, between 40 and 50 about. I haven't counted them. So, just sorry if some of these plants look a little sickly. Like this one right here. This is a, this is a, this is a lollipop plant I got at, look, my aunt, got, my cousin got, from, my dad's cousin got for me at Logi, the several months ago. It had big leaves, but it lost it, but I'm keeping it because, look, it has plenty of new leaf growth on it, so I'm, it's going to eventually bounce back. Here's a plant that, another plant that I don't think is doing so well. A desert rose. I got this one at Logies. I went there a few months ago, and I spent over $200 there. This is I think this one was over water, but I moved it out of water, and now it's doing much better. And there are even flower buds on it, as you can see. And this one is an Adenium Plum Beauty, a cultivar I got at Low G's. It will probably recover in the summer. This is another plant I got at Low G's. With some, like, and the words of J they are marbles is really j dangerous because they have a lot of cool plants to buy. This is Euphorbia milii peppermint candy. Also got overwatered and it's doing much better now. Yeah, it had a few flowers on it and much more leaves, but I overwatered it and it's growing new leaves, so I'm not too worried. This plant is also kind of sickly because it was just root bud and I just repotted it yesterday. It's a jasmine plant I got at my local nursery. It's a little dried up, but hopefully because I, but it's still alive. So hopefully because I would have potted it, it will do a lot better in the future. Now 
that plant right there is a snake plant. Nothing to enter to see there. I, not snake plant, I meant spider plant. <laughs> Got it from my grandma's plant up north. A sickly pilea that isn't, that I think is root bound and isn't getting enough water. So it, but I see new growth on it and it's probably gonna recover in the summer. This is a crone plant that doesn't look so good because it isn't getting enough light. So, but it will probably recover in the summer, so I'm not too worried. Another sickly plant that, another a sickly vanda orchid that needs a lot more water. It fell off a little bit, but I'm trying to re root because it had root rot here. And this is my monstera right here. Do you see it? I got that one off Amazon. It was overpriced because of the stupid plastic pot. But uh, that's all I had at the time. I think that's all I could find at the time. This plant is actually my mom's right here. This one's a wandering Jew. And she and she is her pride and joy, so I need to take care of it. Another plant I really need to take care of, a Dracaena or Lucky Bamboo. This one belonged to my great-grandmother before she died. So, rest in peace, great grandma Gaki. She just was her pride and joy at the time, so it's, my, it's our duty to take care of it, and it appears to be doing really good. I'm, I'm an orchid cactus, and I don't know which cultivar it is because it hasn't flowered for me yet. So, anyway, this plant needs, like, it isn't like other cactus, it needs care similar to a Christmas cactus. This is my sickly little parlor home. It's in really, it's in a really compact soil, so that might be why. Need to repot it. Emerantha lacrimosa plant. I'm trying to germinate, not germinate, propagate from stem, and it's been like this for the last like maybe five or six months. And I'll show you the root growth on it. It hasn't really rooted that much. See it? Not that much. Some more jade plants I'm trying to propagate right here. Nepenthes I'm trying to propagate. Now let's move on to the other corner. Now let's move on to the other corner. This is my Nepenthes Miranda. But it doesn't have any pictures because it doesn't have a lot. No, no. This is my Nepenthes Miranda right here. And it doesn't really have a lot of pictures because of this. It's not, it's a little dry and humid in here. And I'm not humid in here. So, and, and it's winter. So I'm not too worried. This one broke because as I mentioned before, the ceiling tile fell on it. And here, that's more growth on it. And here's my Nepenthes ventricosa crossalata crossalata. I got my same local nursery where I got my jasmine a few years earlier. See it? Sorry, this is an awkward video and this is all I have. He this plant right here. This plant right here. Dead and the cutting that I'm gonna need to throw away. Hoya carry I leave I got a few with you as I see on the scam now. This plant is a Palacia rattlesnake. I think it's been recastified in another genus. I forget which what it's called. It starts with a G. If anyone knows, comment down below.
this is my sickly pinstripe plate. Yeah, I think it was over fertilized at the plant stop I got it at, but no hard feelings. It will do better in the future. Here is a vanilla bean orchid. This is actually where vanilla comes from, if you didn't know. And this one, this is me is an orchid, and it needs to be grown like any other orchid. So I would give it like, not, I wouldn't give it hard water, and I would probably give it right indirect light. This plant right here is a little sickly because I think it's getting too much light. It got too much water when I first got it. It's Oxalis hirsoides. Like, this plant actually moves if you were to check out my previous time lapse. Not time lapse, there's actual move and move and videos of this plant. It actually moves fast enough to be visible on its own. And I think it needs water. my Hoya Carii here that need, that has new growth and it's doing really, really, really good. Here's my Nepenthes Sanguiana that also had, a, had the ceiling tile fall on it, so that's why it's also broken up. Here's my Drosera Scorpoides. That I got from California Carnivores. I have one before, but it died from heavy rain and heavy humidity in my old grow room. So, th this is the one I got and replaced it just a week ago. Here's another rescue. Here are some rescue. Here's a rescue proton right here. I got this one at Lowe's, and it's also doing not doing so good, but I fertilized it, and hopefully it will recover. Here's my Nepenthes Lady Luck here. I got it from Lowe's as well, and it appears to be getting way too much light, so I'm going to need to find a way to shade it. And here is my, my propagation station up here. You can see, with a telegraph plant seedling, I'm trying to practice it, I'm probably going to fail with it, so I'm probably going to try again in the summer. I saw all the babies that came from my Haworthia cooperi, as well as other succulents. Here's a peace lily, my great, this one from my great grandma funeral, the same one who had the Dracaena Lucky Bamboo. And I think it needs water really soon. This is a Christmas cactus here. No, I think needs a lot of water. Not, that I think it's doing okay. Had this for a few years and haven't had any problems with it. We have my Hoya Carnosa Compacta Regalis. This is some of the Hoya Compacta Variegata. And I got this one at Meyer for only get this, $11, which I saw as a complete steal for this. And there's a mystery cactus there that I don't know which species it is, so if you know what it is, please comment, please comment below. Okay, so that was a really, uh, this was my really awkward plant tour. Sorry if it was a little awkward and cringy. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.